Hi, I'm Annie and welcome to Lessons in Life. Don't worry, be happy. So someone once sang. You know the song, the one with that irritating bit of whistling. <laughs> well, whoever wrote this song, he obviously didn't have Mr. Harrison as a maths teacher, and he obviously didn't have a really important maths exam next week. And well, I do. For both these things, that is. And that is why I look so terrible. I haven't slept in a week. Every time I close my eyes, I just see these terrible cartoon numbers with horrible mouths and sharp teeth and dribble coming out, a bit like these. I thought I'd draw you those so you can share my nightmare a bit better. It's a funny thing, worrying, isn't it? You know that it doesn't really help, but you still can't help yourself. And there is just so much to worry about in everyday life. What clothes to wear to school? What clothes to wear to the party? What clothes to wear for the vlog? What clothes to wear to go to town? And it isn't just about clothes. There's social media. Should I really post that? Why on earth did I post that? Why are none of my friends responding to me? Why did I ever even start this silly social media account? And then, on a more global scale, there's the future. What am I going to do with my life? What do I want to be in this world? Will there even be a world for me to do anything in? Yes, there is a lot to worry about in life. But compared to Mr. Harrison and my maths exam, none of these other worries seem particularly important. So, what to do about all this worrying? It can't be good for me. Someone told me that doing a bit of exercise helps. Go out for a run, they said. It seemed like a good idea, until I had to start thinking about what I should wear. Then there's that saying, a problem shared is a problem halved. And I suppose that means less worrying. I put that one to the test a while ago. I had a bit of a dilemma. I'd been invited to a party that I didn't really want to go to because I don't really like the girl whose party it was. Well, to cut a long story short, I thought I'd put it out to my Facebook friends to see what they thought I should do. Well, it turns out that the girl is one of my friends and I didn't even realise it. So instead of a problem shared, it was more like a worry increased a thousand percent. Now I have to write her a message to sort it out. So when it comes to worrying, maybe I'm not the right person to ask, but maybe you could help me. Send me your ideas. See you soon.